Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you're watching from, I want to welcome you to the very first episode of Chief Made It. Yeah, my name is Chief. I'm a sound engineer, music producer and a recording artist. So basically, the reason I created this channel is to teach people who are interested to learn um, basic music um, and tips and tricks. And in this particular video, I'll be teaching I'll be teaching you how to set up your recording project in Cubase. I'll be using Cubase for this particular uh, for this particular video, and subsequently we'll, we'll try with different um, different software. So let's get into the video. So yeah, the first thing to do here is to go ahead and launch your Cubase software. Yeah, so this is it. So I'm just going to skip this part while it loads. I'm just going to skip it to, okay, it's done loading. It's actually fast. So when it, when it opens, when your Cubase launches, the first thing you're going to see on the screen is a project assistant menu. So on this project assistant menu, I want you to go ahead and select a folder where your project is going to be saved in which is very important so click come to the bottom and you're going to see a box yes you're going to see a box beside it you see project folder so click on this box when you click on this box just select your favorable destination part or wherever you want to save it or was whichever folder you want it to be so i already have my folder selected here cubase work chief made it so yeah i select just go back now select my folder folder selected then after that go ahead and click on create empty that's the next thing you should do and you're almost done this is it this is your workspace now you decide the beat you're going to import and you look for the bpm you need to know the bpm of the beat before importing the beat into your cubase workspace so just go to you you can use your virtual dj to know the use your virtual dj to find out the bpm of the beat so this is my virtual dj i come to the beat i want to use drag it to my virtual dj and yes here you can see is 94 so 94 is the bpm i go back to my cubase and i set my bpm as 94 when i do that all i have to do is drag the beat into my cubase and that is it The beat is here so the first the, the next thing I would, I would advise you to do is to come to the top of your screen you're going to see this studio menu click click on studio menu at the top of your screen you're going to locate locate studio menu after doing that you click on audio connection is the first option click on audio connection now just under your file menu here you're going to see different options input output group effects so i want you to come to input under input boss name right click on this here right click on this icon here then remove boss because why why are we doing this you're going to be recording as mono it's advisable to record as mono i record as mono so Remove boss, you come here and you add, add boss, mono. And when you do that, you're good. Now you come back to this space, you right click on this empty, on the empty space here. Then you right click, you click on add audio track. Add audio track, mono, input mono, yes. Your configuration should be mono, audio output, leave it as stereo. Then let's add three. And once we do that, so all you have to do is rename your main recording track. I like to name it as 
record it's very important and when you do that you're good to go as easy as that so when you want to record all you have to do is just click on star and you see as easy as that the track is recording so yeah that's very easy if you enjoyed this video i'd like you to subscribe like share and stay tuned i'll be coming up with a lot of videos showing you more tricks and tips to help you navigate your your workspace make beats a lot of things and sound engineering tips and how to make hooks too on your on your music so thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video click um like share whatever just show me love so i can keep doing this for you guys thank you very much